show, everybody. Our first guest has starred in so many holiday movies that we've loved, including A Christmas Detour and A Wish for Christmas. But honestly, we really can't wait to see him in the Christmas Day premiere of One Calls the Heart, The Greatest oh. Christmas Blessing. It's at 8, 7 Central right here on Hallmark Channel. Please welcome back our pal, my buddy for a long time now, Paul Green. Welcome back, Paul. Welcome back, Paul. Great welcome to see back. you, man. Always great to see you, my brother. Thank you. Really happy to have you. Uh, Multi-talented guy. We'll get into that in a second. But we need to ask about uh, this great uh, Christmas special, of course. Uh, Aaron Krako did tell us. Right, a little a, bit. A little bit. We got a, li we got a little bit of scoop, right, everybody? Yeah. Elizabeth's baby will be born in this year's Christmas special, right, Christmas movie. Uh, so we're happy about that. We know, you see how we do this? We're yeah. putting the dots together a little bit. So <laughs> hopefully you're going to slip and tell us something <laughs> yeah, that's supposed right, to. That's right. yes. We know you play uh, Hope Valley's doctor, so one would assume that maybe you're going to be delivering this beautiful right. new bundle of joy. One would assume, yes. And as I'm reading the script, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, I'm going to be certainly there. And there may be that might happen. Okay. <laughs> but there's oh, some but good, he's as good nice, he's nice try. Aaron. But there's, there's other circumstances that might, you know, come into play where I, someone else might have to deliver the baby, but I'm not going to tell you that. Okay. I mean, wow. You're not tell you, us. It's, honestly? It's 1913, folks, so okay. anything can happen. Yeah, anything the wind can happen. blow. And you know everything can change that what you thought was going to happen. Right, and you know you never know when the baby could come. The baby could come early. Right, it could come late. We don't know. You're what's trying to help him tap dance right now. Well, you know what? I've gotten very good at this because year <laughs> after year, everyone when comes the heart comes on the show. I can yeah. never tell us anything, but we love having everyone well, here. It's, it's good. That's true. People think they want to know the spoilers, but yeah. really they don't. You don't. They want to be surprised and okay. excited and anticipating. And yeah, I know you're playing. You're right. You're well, right. you can tell us something because right. we've seen from the previews, you and Kevin Smith and Jack Wagner, all three of you spend a lot of time on horses. We do. In this special, so much so that uh, Lori Loughlin even came up with a very special hysterical name for the three of you that really stuck. Yes, the three not so wise men. <laughs> it works really fitting for a Christmas movie. We're out on our horses. I can't. Um, that is really funny. And any, I can't go any further down that road without giving away a spoiler, so I have okay. to stop with the three not-so-wise men on horseback. Okay. And when you see the film, you'll understand you'll know why. why I couldn't have gone any further without giving away a pretty important piece of information. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and take a crack at it and think that perhaps you guys are supposed to be finding something that you're not finding. That we're supposed to be, you're, are you trying to trap me? Maybe, maybe <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> we're, we're trying to find something, <laughs> for, possibly, that we're not finding. Yeah, it's an adventure. It's that, an adventure. It's an adventure. Well, we have a clip <laughs> wow. of um, you running into Elizabeth in town. Yeah, uh, yeah. It, it, we didn't actually. There was no cars. We just no, like, no. <laughs> but running into each there other. There was cars. There was no on, collision on foot, I didn't run will. into her. Right, person. not on horse. Nothing. We, we had just, a little chit chat. There you go. Let's take a look. Hi. I see you're out for your daily walk. Yes. Well, my doctor has been very firm about me getting enough fresh air and exercise. <laughs> Sounds like a wise man. Yeah, very wise. Let's not have you catch a chill while you're following orders. Thank you, Carson. And how about your fruit and vegetables? Are you getting enough? I know it's tough with the bean winter. Abigail has been keeping me in constant supply thanks to all the canning she did this fall. Wonderful. Don't forget our appointment next week. It's on the calendar. Okay, then we'll see you at the feast. Wouldn't miss it. There it is. Next week. <laughs> there it is. Does she get to next yeah. week? Yeah. Will there wow. be one more on I the can't guest wait. list? Mm -hmm. We'll have to find out for sure. Now, you say that obviously Erin is not really pregnant in real life, but on set, in between takes and everything, it was you almost like acting with her as if as if she was. <laughs> well, she, I mean, and she says herself, she'll probably tell you this, like they have to wear corsets all the time, mm -hmm. so their ribs are squeezed, and this way she could like totally kick back, <laughs> put it. some treats on her pregnant <laughs> belly while she's in craft service. There you and go. And just like, and she really got into the character. She'd like lean like this, right, there you go. Um, so she, we, and you'd help her down the stairs and like, I would, you would act, I mean, I would probably help her anyway, whether right. she had a fake belly or not. This guy is a gentleman. Listen, we've known each other for a long time and I can say that it's for true. sure. It's you're true. A, you're yeah. a good man. You are a Thank you. Man. And so are you. Well, Over 20 okay. years, these two modeled yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Real. 92. I've known Paul actually yeah. even before I knew you, Deb. What? I know. No it's way. It's the truth. <laughs> That, I don't back. believe it. We go back. He, well, it's a Canadian connection. That's what's happening. It is. So there's there's something else that we also have to celebrate for you because this is honestly once in a lifetime. Not many people on this planet can say that they performed at Carnegie Hall. And on November 30th of this year, you had the opportunity to do that. 
Yes, I still have to pinch myself. And that whole day of preparing, you walk into Carnegie Hall and you see pictures of the Beatles and you see like, you know, every single performer posters of them and you just feel so supported by this, the history of that building. And it was definitely, to have 200 choir behind me, a 100 person symphony, and it was... What, how did this happen? Well, I did a film and the director does this show every year for Kate Winslet's Golden Hat Foundation. And they asked me to do this song. They asked me to perform Hallelujah and I obliged. I was so excited to Were do it. Were you nervous? There was moments when I made it about me looking good or not looking bad, I got nervous. When right. I made it about the music and getting all of them to sing with me, like the Hardys sang with me at the last yeah. two Hardys conventions, they all sang with me, the Hardys. So when I got to Carnegie Hall, my mission was to get 2,200 New Yorkers to sing the chorus of Hallelujah with me. And did they? Yes. Wow. Oh, and yes. Isn't, that, isn't that such a great tip for everybody so too? When you focus too much on yourself, you get all nervous yeah. and worked that's out. That's just it. And when you focus on others and trying to get, that's so beautiful. And that's an acting trick as well. Yeah, if you're in sure. your head, just yep. make it about the other actor you're yes. with. Right. And get out of your own self and trying to look good. And as soon as I did that, I could relax and made it about the moment. Oh, man, what a and moment about it was. The music. What a moment for sure. And I know we're going to oh, experience a awesome. moment here in a minute too. Yeah. You promised to play something special for us, for all the Hardys out there watching. Uh, um, this is a real treat. Okay. Yeah. Don't All get right. nervous. Okay, don't, yeah. okay, don't <laughs> get nervous. Just think just about kidding. the gift yeah. that you're giving us. I'm make it about us. I'm going to make it about you. Okay, okay. you get all set up over there. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. And everybody at home, don't miss the Christmas Day premiere of One Calls the Heart, the greatest Christmas blessing. It's at 8, 7 central, right here on Hallmark Channel. All right?